Hi, Michael Lapash here at the Planner Tutorials Hub. Welcome back. Today we're going to do another Oracle Primavera video tutorial. Today's topic is activity splitting. How can I get on my Gantt chart an activity that's split? So it starts, has a, a gap in there, and then carries on. Now, Primavera doesn't support natively activity splitting. So I'm going to show you how we can get creative and use user-defined fields to split an activity. Now let's talk about what Primavera does support. Primavera does support um, suspend and resume. However, those features, those two date fields, are only available when I'm statusing an activity. So when I'm putting in my actuals, I can say I started the work, I had to suspend, and then I had to resume the work again. What we want to do is have that same sort of behavior, but for planned work, we'd like to have an activity that plans to start, has a gap of no activity, and then resumes work again. Now we all know that Primavera's counterpart, Microsoft Project, does support reoccurring activities and splitting uh, activities or tasks as they're called there. So let's see how we can get creative. What we're going to do today is use user-defined fields to see if we can split an activity. Let's get started. So as I said, I'm going to be using user-defined fields to split a particular activity. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the Enterprise menu, check out user-defined fields, and I want to create two new user-defined fields. You want to make sure that if you're trying this tutorial that you have the appropriate permissions to create user-defined fields. You may not. If you don't, tr try to go find somebody who might have permission and see if they can do it for you. Or perhaps you want to try another approach to splitting activities. We're going to create activities, uh, user-defined fields under this activities heading. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it split bar start and it's going to be a start date and I'm going to add another one and it's going to be called split bar finish and it's a finish date. With those two added I'll close out of here. First thing I'm going to do is add them to my layout. So we'll go ahead and expand Find those guys. There we go. Great. Okay, just do a little, little bit of adjusting the screen here. What I'd like to do next then is to increase the duration of this activity to 50 days and go ahead and reschedule the project. This will just give me a little bit vis more visibility, make it a little bit easier for you, you to see on your screens. With these user-defined fields on my page now, what I'm going to do is essentially set the split bar uh, start and finish dates for these two activities. Now I'm going to set them outside the bounds of August 3rd and the 19th. So let's see, we'll set perhaps September 1st to, oh, let's say September 15th. There we go. Okay, with those dates set, we're actually going to go and reconfigure the Gantt chart so that we can show the split bar. As I said, we got to get creative. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to go into the bars area, and we're actually going to add a new uh, bar type here. So we'll click the Add button. Okay, we'll call it Split Bar. There we go. And now here's the tricky part. What we're going to do is, or call it the creative part, we'll go down here and choose user dates. So the user dates now uh, fill in the split bar start and our split bar finish user defined fields into these user date columns. All I need to do now is to perhaps just change some of the colors so we can make it yellow and we'll have a visual. 
Watch what happens when I click OK. I now get a essentially a split bar. As I said, this solution is a little bit tricky. The, the setback to it is really that the original duration of the activity uh, doesn't actually expand out and represent the finish of the, uh, the split bar. However, it is a creative solution and for those situations where you just need to do one split, this can work really well. Now notice I have a little problem here. Notice the, the uh, relationship line is uh, attached to the split and uh, that's actually not accurate. So what I'll do is I'll go back into bars and I'll take my split bar and I'll just shimmy it down the list here so that it shows up after say remaining or critical remaining these remaining bars and that essentially adjusting the order of things makes the relationship line uh, drawn appropriately from the red bar this solution works really well as I said if we just have to do one split I have lots of clients who uh, come and, and say, well, my manager is indicating to me that they need to see the schedule this way. So how do I do those kinds of things? This is an appropriate solution for that situation. Sometimes we have a manager or, or a client who just wants to see the split on the Gantt. They're not, sometimes they're not too concerned about what the data sees, says, but they are concerned about what the Gantt chart sh shows. And in this situation, this user-defined dates, uh, user-defined fields solution works really well. There you have it, a split bar in Primavera. Uh, feel free to check out the download files back on plannertouch.com. Hope you have a great day. Happy planning.